No, that just doesn't sound... What? I mean, to be honest, it doesn't sound what? No, it doesn't sound fun. It doesn't sound exciting. You know, uh, that's not how life really works. I mean, I believe this is how life works best. I mean, I love my sister. I love my life. I mean, I do all this for her. My sacrifice gives me purpose. I mean, it's the way God set things up. Selfishness leads to emptiness, and self-sacrifice leads to joy. I mean, I'm sorry, I've, I've got to go. I'm... That's all right. Hey, here. What? What is it? Joe, I, I, I can't take that. That's not... Look, it's not a big deal. It's just numbers on a piece of paper for me, Sarah, okay? No sacrifice made, really. But I mean, you have to understand, I, I can't repay this. No, you don't need to. A good attorney knows that good counsel deserves proper compensation, all right? Pay your bills, Sarah. And keep the faith. Somebody needs to. I'm telling you what I said. I'm not going to be around much longer. And I need to know that you will lead this firm from a foundation of God's truth. Get your priorities straight. Start at home. Love your wife and kid. Anthony, that situation is out of my control. But I can assure you, it's not going to affect my ability to lead the firm. And I assure you, it will. Dust off that Bible of yours. Pray before you do or say anything. And Joe, don't give up. Okay. I won't. And I won't let you down. But if working on my marriage has anything to do with my ability to lead the firm, Anthony, do you think I am the right guy for this? I mean, all of a sudden, I don't feel so qualified. Joe, I'm sure. Now, more than ever. But since you are never around, he does what he enjoys, and he does music. What he enjoys? What? That? You want me to do that? Catherine, that's not my thing. Well, basketball isn't his thing, but he does it for you. God, I, you know, I don't even know why he attempts to have a relationship with you at all. You know, he should just work on what makes him feel best. What? Like you have? Yes, like I have. That is the healthy thing to do when you have a toxic person in your life. What is that? More wisdom from Dr. Ortolano? Well, at least I am trying to get some help to better myself. To better yourself? All right, so tell me when that whole process of bettering yourself and the rest of your life is complete, okay? Let me know if that works out for you. Because the way I see it, Catherine, you have it pretty good already. You don't see it. What do you mean? Look, you have a husband, a house, oh, a Oh, I've kid. got a husband, all right. One who travels all over the country doing business and seeing who knows who when he's out of town. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that supposed to mean? Forget about it. <laughs> it's not like I care. I stopped caring a long time ago. Look, I know I'm not perfect, but if there's something about me that bothers you, let's discuss it. Let's talk about it so we can deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. I don't care. I'm going to bed. Yeah. That's always your answer. Walking away from the problem. He also told us that he didn't open this firm to get rich, but rather to help those people get through their darkest times. Divorce, death, child abuse. That's where we come in. And he told us, treat your clients with dignity, with respect, and most of all, do it with compassion. Now, if you want to join me in continuing to do that and try to achieve that goal, I believe we're going to have to do some pretty unconventional stuff. We're going to have to take care of each other. At least until this whole thing blows over and we're able to get the firm back solvent again. We may even have to risk a lot more than money, but probably our reputations. So, if you need to move on, I understand, but I propose we keep going because what we're doing is helping a lot of people who are out there hurting. In our firm, if we get a case for a divorce, 
we require that they get six months of counseling before we even uh, proceed. Really? I mean, isn't there more money in it for you if they get a divorce? It's always been our firm's policy. And actually, my wife and I are having sessions with Josh, and uh, I think he's going to help us. Well, well, good luck with that. I've been taking the cleaners twice in divorce, so uh, I guess it would pay if you could stay married. You've never gone to your cousin for help with that? No, no, we're just totally different people.